Well, all new this morning, high school sports are getting ready to start, but there's a lot of new precautions for those who are going to get the chance to play. First News Weekend Morning anchor Connor Kick is live in our newsroom explaining what one local doctor says about the emotional side effects this pandemic can have on athletes. Connor. Well, good morning, guys. I originally found this story from a study out of the University of Wisconsin. It found that two thirds of student athletes are actually suffering from some type of anxiety or depression because of the pandemic. Now, this also adds on to what we were talking about in the last hour when it comes to some of those physical things that could happen from COVID-19. But what about those emotional or those kind of problems? Well, it says that athletes have nearly 50% less physical activity than before the pandemic, and it's causing a lot of sports related injuries. Some doctors I spoke with say that the numbers aren't surprising. There could be many factors that play into this, such as worrying about contracting the virus or giving it to another family member. It could also come from having to pick between playing and not playing for safety reasons. Not getting enough exercise, which is a form of stress and anxiety relief for athletes, is also helping contribute to mental health issues. Some doctors worry that student athletes might not tell anyone about potential COVID-19 symptoms and fear of not being able to play. People really have to be more aware of those types of symptoms you know, the fever and the breathing problems more than usual, uh, just not feeling like themselves. And when that happens, you know, you got to tell your coach right away. You got to tell your parents right away uh, because, you know, maybe it could be something more severe than what you think. And speaking of parents, if any of your kids are experiencing any type of symptom, doctors are urging you to keep them home so that they don't spread anything to their teammates, friends, or coaches. Also, that conversation should happen between parents and kids about if they are experiencing any type of symptoms to let them know as well. Live in the newsroom, Connor Kick, First News this morning.